Hello everyone, Wildfire 972 here, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Advance 4. Boy, does it feel good to say those words again. Last time, we took out the first few levels of the fifth world in the game. And in this episode, we are going to continue on with that. I'm sorry I haven't updated in over a month. I've just been really, really busy with school. I've just had a lot of stress going on, and I just want to take time out of my life right now to just sit down and record some more videos. So I say we start by going to the panel swap. So, let's see. Let's start with this. And while I'm going over this, let me talk about what has happened in the last month that's, that's kept me from updating. I have been so busy with homework assignments and having to give, having to prepare a speech to give and having just a whole bunch of crap shoved down my throat about school. It just hasn't been a fun time. I've also had a lot of tests to prepare for. And yeah, it's just, long story short, it's not pleasant. And yeah, I just, I wanna take time to unwind a bit and play some Mario. Because isn't that why we just play the games to relax? At least that's why I play. I want to relax, unwind, and entertain people. So now that that's done, let's go ahead and actually do more mini games. Why not? Let's get some one-ups. So let's see. Can I get a star? And I can get a mushroom. And no, I can't. Fantastic. I got one of each. Can't that count for something? No. Okay. You know, I want to get out a little bit of my rage. Let's kill a hammer brother. And kill you. And I think we're set. And we got a P-Wing out of that. Nice. Alright. Nice item. So, let me check my inventory. I should probably use up an item so I don't lose anything else. I want to keep that P-Wing. So, I'm going to use this mushroom. And now we're actually going to get to the meat of today's episode, which is this tower. This tower connects the way from this half of the map to the other half. You'll see why once we go inside. Starting off, this looks just like the Koopaling's castles, doesn't it? Or no, sorry, the fortresses. The Boom Boom Fortresses. That's what I meant to say. We got a lot of these Rota Discs, or Nuclear Waffles as I call them. We gotta avoid them. They're not too hard to avoid. You just have to know when to land and when to jump. Like here. Very easy to avoid. So, we go up this warp pipe. Have the camera pan, which is awesome. Dodge the thwomp. Ha ha ha. You're useless in Mario Kart. <laughs> no, not really, but shut up. And another one, careful not to jump on him. Alright, and go up this warp pipe to see that we're actually up in the air. And this room houses a really, really cool secret that I can't show off. At least I don't think I can show it off. Let me crush a pile driver Goomba. Get that one up right there, that's a really neat secret. I knew it was one of these. And another one. So, you may notice this wall of bricks. You can't break these bricks, because they house coins. But, you must be thinking to yourself, <clears throat> yourself, surely there's some way you can get over there, right? Well, there is. But you need a P-Wing. You can fly over this wall and get a cool secret. Unfortunately, I'll have to show it off later on, since I can't show it off since I don't have a P-Wing equipped. But, that's fine, I don't really mind it. And now, this is starting to look a little more intimidating, intimidating, because not only do we have rotodiscs to avoid, we also have thwomps and spikes. So, we just need a good running jump that's well-timed. So, let's go over here, jump, and float down there. Not that bad, but not exactly the easiest thing to do. So, up here, <clears throat> this should be about the end. So, this is the last room of this fortress. And you can get some coins here if you really need to. I'll get 
beast too, just because. And kill the Koopa Troopa for no real reason. And send him careening off the cliff. Very good. And right there, that brick block right there, houses a vine. Was up this said vine, you may ask? Well, I'll let you see for yourself with, in my opinion, one of the best songs in the game. Take a listen. Welcome to the sky, the fifth world in Mario Advance 4, Mario Brothers 3. I adore this song. Not only is it beautifully played, it's very atmospheric. It's also the Coin Heaven song if you paid attention. And this song is the source of a secret in Smash Brothers. I won't spoil it for those, who, those of you who don't know it, but I will give you a hint. It has to do with Peach, and it has to do with her final smash. Just throwing that out there. So, we've made it up to the sky, which is the official world name. I know, really, really creative. What did the map naming guy get the day off that day? Whatever. What's really cool about this is that you can actually see the second half of the map down there. They didn't just leave it out. They actually showed, hey, that part of the map is important. Let's keep it in there. And it's accurate for the most part. I'm sure it's, it's obviously scaled down, but it does really look neat. And I would end it off here, but come on guys, I haven't seen you in over a month. It's only about seven minutes into the video. Seven and a half at this point, probably. I say we go on a little farther. So let's keep going on to the next level. Because I've missed you guys so much. So, if you hate Bottomless Pits, fair warning, you are not going to like this world at all. Bottomless Pits are everywhere. And I mean everywhere. So, let's just fly. This makes it easier on ourselves. And this platform, these platforms are going to be a huge pain in the neck. This one, not in particular, because it distributes your weight and tilts, which is really cool. I didn't think the NES did that a whole lot back in its heyday. But those ones that are spinning, you are going to hate them. The best way I can, the best tip I can give is wait for them to spin and then jump and then float if you have the raccoon tail. This one, you just gotta get a good running jump. And careful of these waterfalls. I don't think you can swim in them. They will send you down to your death if you're not careful. That's really weird. There's a waterfall in the sky. This isn't Skyloft. Why are there waterfalls just randomly out of nowhere? Oh well, not my place to complain. So, let's kill this Koopa Troopa and float. Very nice. And the best thing I can point out here, keep jumping. That way your, your weight won't be distributed as much. It still will be, but nowhere near as much. And I should point out back there, at the beginning of the level, there was a secret path I didn't take. I don't need to show it off because all it is is a bunch of coins. That's about it. Oh, and this part right here, excellent way of getting one-ups. Just let Lakitu keep dropping his spiny shells at you. Just keep jumping and dodging out of the way. Let them rack up. And... Get some coins as well. I didn't do it because I don't need to, but a great place for one-ups. All right, so now let's move on to the next level. And this one houses another secret. This is another one of those white mushroom house levels. So if you need a white mushroom house, you need to collect, how many coins do you need? Oh, Carol of the Donut platforms as well. You need to collect 28 coins, I believe. Uh, yeah, 28 coins. So, you, if you get 28 coins, you get the White Mushroom House. And if you go down here, you get a really neat secret. In here, you get the Tanuki Suit, my favorite power-up in the game. Which is really nice, because you're in the sky, and you can fly. 
And once you're high up in the air, for no reason, you can become a statue. And not make it an earth shattering earthquake as well. Physics? Okay. Now, right there, that enemy. You may know him from Smash Run in Smash Brothers for 3DS. That is a fire chomp. They're pretty much flying chain chomps without a chain. They can breathe fire at you multiple times, and then they'll just chase you aimlessly. They're really annoying to dodge! Ah, crap, I thought I jumped over his fireball. Oh, well, I'll, I'll take the Tanuki Leaf. I got two of them. Cool. Alright, I don't think I'm going to get to show off the secret here, but I don't even get the, the fire flower one-ups. Oh, well. You get three ups, by the way, if you get three fire flowers. I didn't get to show it, but that's okay. I don't really need to get the white mushroom house. I might show it off at the end of the video, though, as a little bonus. Same with the, uh, the tower. The tower secret. So, yeah, I'll go ahead and get an item. Why not? So, our item we're going to get here is a Tanuki Leaf. Fantastic. I will take that. But... I see up ahead there is an enemy. I don't want to lose the Tanuki suit, so I am going to go ahead and use a star just for no reason. I just want to get rid of it. Oh, I'm not invincible here? Darn it. I was hoping, like, the star could increase your chances on winning. All right, can I get a mushroom, please? Okay, that's good. Promising, and... Oh, dang it. So close. I cannot catch a break today. Alright, I think we have time for maybe one more level. So, let's go ahead and take this one out. One more, maybe two. We'll take a look. Oh, yay! Auto-scrolling levels! Fun. Now, these enemies right here, they still hurt you, apparently. I was gonna say, they can be used as platforms. So, this is your main source, your main way of getting around if you do not have a P-Wing. And, apparently, you can still follow your death. Fantastic. Now, while I'm back at the main menu, or main menu, the map screen, I want to take a look and see if I can find their names. I think they have an official name. Let me see if I can find it real quick. Yep, yeah, those are called Parabeetles. Oh, and, oh, great, I gotta fight the hand. Uh, star power. Get, did you see that? I look just like Wario. I, I'll put a picture on screen of what it looked like, but I look exactly like Wario. The color scheme and everything. Well, all right, we got ourselves a note block so we can put enemies to sleep. Too bad there are no more on the map. <laughs> all right, whatever. So I guess we'll just go ahead and go back to this level. Yes, I can tell this is going to be a fun, fun level. If you don't want to step on the, the parabeetles and just get your bearings first, you can stand on these clouds. Contrary to popular belief, you do not need special tools to stand on them, like, say, a bee mushroom. You can stand on them no matter what you're doing. So, I know the bee mushroom isn't in this game, but hey, it's a joke. Come on. They don't have to make sense all the time. Great, not again. I don't want to resort to using the P-Wing. I want to try and do this legit. So let's just go back in there. So, I guess while we're going back, I'll talk about more in detail what I've been doing last month. So, the last update was over a month ago. I apparently missed a homework assignment by a couple hours. That was the day I did the two videos in one. I was so upset that I only focused on getting my schoolwork done. I didn't want to focus at all on getting any videos recorded. I didn't want to make the same mistake again. Luckily my teacher, my professor did extend the the, uh, the due date for me, so I, since I already finished the assignment, and I'm not going to make that, am I? Uh, wow. This is as bad as Luigi U with the slippery shoes. Okay, let's go back in there again. 
so I wanted to focus strictly on getting my schoolwork done ahead of time. So I focused, I focused mostly on getting my assignments done and not worrying about keeping you guys entertained. Because I want to be done with school. I just want to get it done. And the semester ends in about a month, which is right after my birthday, oddly enough. My, the finals are the week of my birthday. What a great gift that is. So... Oh, come on, I jumped. I want to focus mostly on getting my schoolwork done, but I know you guys, I'm sure you guys have missed me, and if not, too bad. I'm recording a video now. I'm going to try and release a couple within the next couple days. I might be able to squeeze three in here, but I'm not going to be able to record for too long because I have... Oh, come on. I'm not, gonna use, I'm not using the P-Wing. I'm not cheating. I'm not going to cheat. I have a three to five page paper due on the 25th, which is about a week and a half away, and I haven't even started on it. Yes, I would rather record myself playing a video game and failing drastically than write a three to five page paper based on a, a troubling communication situation. Yes. I am taking a class in communications, which is what I had to give the speech for. I had to give a speech on how to do something, anything you know about. I did my speech on how to throw a bowling ball, because I've been bowling for over 12 years, and I'm not going to toot my own horn here, but I am fairly good. Even though I've never broken a 200 game in my life, the highest I've ever gotten is like a 168, I believe. That was years ago. So, my speech was supposed to go for... Seriously, I jumped. I freaking jumped. You know what? I'm not using the P-Wing. I will use the Tanuki Leaf. That'll help with my jumps. Because this is getting really stupid. The speech was supposed to be four to six minutes long with a an introduction with, your, with our thesis statement, a body, uh, our first main topic that was supposed to be the history of what we were talking about, and the, uh, the actual steps on how to do said thing. The history of bowling was actually fascinating when I researched it. So, if you ever get a chance and you're curious, go ahead and look it up. You might be pleasantly surprised. And... I said the speech was four to six minutes long. My speech was eight and a half minutes long. I went a whole minute and a half over the required time. And because of that, I got three points off my grade. And you need to die, Fire Chomp. All right, I believe that that's it for this world, this level, excuse me. And there are more Lakitus here. So you can go ahead and try that one-up trick again if you so wish. I'm not going to do that, though. Whew. Looks like talking about a speech actually gave me good luck. So, I think that's going to be it for this episode. So, actually, before I go, I do need to go ahead and switch over to my personal file and show you those last two secrets. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that for you. But that'll be it for this main part of the episode. So, I'll see you guys on my other file. Something I forgot to mention. If you ever want to go back to the first part of the map, all you need to do is go back down into that warp pipe. It will take you to this warp pipe here with a one-up, and I missed. Oh, I missed! That's not like I really need it. And it'll take you back to this part of the map. Alright, now I'll see you guys inside with the P-Wing. Alright, once you're back in this room, what you want to do is fly all the way up here until you move to the right. Now you can walk on these blocks and you'll see one lone block right there. What you want to do is fly up to it, get yourself a 1-up. It's a nice little secret for those of you who actually explore the level. So, now I guess I'll go ahead and show off the 
other thing I wanted to show off, which is the White Mushroom House. So we'll see you guys there. Here we are back in this level. If you notice up there, there is a little uh, coin counter up here. You hit that and it'll tell you how many coins you need to access the Mushroom House, which I think is a really, really cool feature. I don't know if this was in the original Super Mario uh, All-Stars version of the game, but at, whoops, it's in here and it's really neat. Did that Koopa Troopa just fall through the floor? I'm going to have to play that back in editing and take a look. Did that Koopa Troopa just fall through the floor? And while I'm here, I'll go ahead and show off the bottom half of the level, because, well, that's the only way I can get enough coins. So, let's go ahead and take a look. Now, you want to hit every single uh, question mark block you can, because that'll add at least one coin to your total counter, and you suck. Alright, up here is a mushroom. That's... I would have been a leaf if I didn't get hurt. And let's... No! 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 Okay. I'm good. And now, this part's gonna be a little tricky. You wanna make sure these donut platforms drop enough for you to fall down and get the coin. But not far enough that you can't jump back up. And careful of the mother Paragoomba who will drop her babies on you, restricting your ability to jump. Okay, I'll be right back. I'll get back to where I was. Alright, back here. So, let's go ahead and get these coins. You can get two at a time, time if you're careful. You want to just avoid these Paragoombas. Just get out of the way. Get, avoid the Paragoomba and her babies. And not get hit by the fire chomp, because that sucks. Okay, and jump on you. Oh, I, ki I killed him! Why has he killed me? Oh my gosh, that's, that's funny. I've never seen that before. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's, let's try one more time. Let's keep going. Alright, now that you've gotten all these coins, you're going to want to go back to wherever you fell through that pipe to get the Tanuki suit, which was right here. This should give you enough coins for the, <clears throat> the, uh, the, the white mushroom house. Well, you'll be one short, but there's one more coin coming up that you can get. So, don't fret too much if you're one short. It's right here, actually. I don't need the Tanuki leaf, so I'm just gonna say, screw it, let's run to the exit. And... Alright. Whew, that took forever. I am so sick of those fire chomps. Ugh. If my life counter is any indication, I have lost, like, five lives trying to get back here. But... Nevertheless, the White Mushroom House has spawned on the castle. So, let's go ahead and take a look and see what it would give me if I were doing this during the actual Let's Play. It would give me a P-Wing. The irony is astounding. I could have used a P-Wing all this time and it would give me a P-Wing. Well, that's going to be it for this episode. So, next time on Super Mario Advance 4... We will be continuing and possibly finishing our voyage through the sky. So, I'll see you then.